Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you lymphatic drainage massage for the neck area. We're then going to finish off with the all important lymphatic drainage massage release. So what I like to do first is to make sure that my neck and also my jawline, bottom half of the face is nice and clean. So we don't want any product on the skin whatsoever and clean fingers. Now I am going to use some form of slip. We don't want to compromise the skin by dragging and pulling. So I'm using some avocado oil here. You can use your favorite face cream or face oil um, or also a favorite neck cream if you have one. So I'm just gently going to apply it just above the jawline and the neck area and also the side of the neck and the side of the ears. Now what I'm going to do first is to actually just loosen up the neck. We actually hold a lot of tension in the neck. So just taking our hands and just gently massaging just the side of the neck and it always feels good. Lots of tension hunched over from the computer or maybe the telephone. And we just want to really get that nice and relaxed. Then I'm going to take my fingers and my thumb and gently massage this big muscle here, which is at the side of the neck. Big important muscle. And we want to make sure that again is um, nice and relaxed and we don't want too much tension in this area because we can also get things such as headaches and tinnitus, anything like that. So we just want to relax this. Also, when we are actually moving any lymphatic toxins and waste, we actually want to make sure that this is actually flowing free and easy. So we just want to really massage this part here. If you don't know where this large muscle is here, you can literally just tense the neck and you'll see a line, particularly if you are always hunched over, that will be more prominent. So just really give that a good massage. You may find a few tender points, but that's fine. Literally and up to the ears to the point at the top. So now we're going to start to just gently pinch the neck very, very lightly to help stimulate collagen and elastin, which we do tend to lose, particularly getting older. Now I am in my 50s, so I'm definitely finding things are slowing up. So we want to speed things back up, if you like. And then just take the thumb and the finger and just gently pinch just all along the jawline, starting from the chin and working our way outwards towards that lymph gland. Then I'm going to take our fingers and just gently just move the toxins and lymph within the toxins and the waste, sorry, within the lymph. And it's very close to the surface of the skin. So we just need to gently move it by doing some really light massages heading towards the ear here. And then working our way towards the jawline and then diagonally towards the ear again. Such a good move, a working literally in an upwards motion. We want things to be lifting up, not dragging down. You can do these exercises and massage exercises as long as you like. Obviously, the more often you do it, the better the results. Again, this is also improving elastin as well. And whatever product you've placed on the skin is also going to penetrate through and help as well. Now with the neck, we do tend to accumulate a lot of toxin and waste under the chin and the top of the neck, which actually again can end up with a turkey neck, all this extra um, waste if you like here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to take our thumb and our finger and just gently almost massage. So we're using our thumb underneath and our fingers above. Also, I really recommend doing some mewing. So mewing, literally, I say doing some, but literally almost throughout the day, when you have your resting face, you want your tongue to be basically on top of the roof of your mouth. This will lift everything up and it really does help with that double chin, jawline and turkey neck. 
then I'm going to take my thumb and my finger and just gently glide. Now, as I said before, the lymph is close to the surface of the skin and it doesn't move by itself. So we actually have to physically move it. So this is why doing this move is so important. For me, one of the best exercises, it really does lift the face up by getting rid of all those toxins and waste under the jawline and above the neck. And then just take our fingers, massage lightly and slightly, just lightly sweep down to the uh, neckline here, the decollete. So now I'm going to take my fingers and just gently massage the side of the ears down to the bottom. You may want to swallow at this point as you can feel things literally moving. And then back up. And if you feel any tender points, just give it a little extra massage. And then once we get to the bottom of the ear here, just gently glide again, well, massage towards the nape of the neck along the occipital bone. And then when the fingers are touching, gently glide down the side of the neck. You don't want to go at the front, side of the neck along that big muscle here. And then once we've done that, chin all the way down and you can feel your collarbone and two indentations slightly on either side. And you just want to give those a few gentle presses. This will release all the waste and all the toxins within the lymph which we've worked in this neck area into the body ready for elimination. Plus we've also helped with collagen and elastin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and please comment down below. And for more hints and tips on lymphatic drainage massage, facial exercise and also um, base yoga, please subscribe and have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye.